Hello water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thanks so much for being here with me. Welcome back to the channel. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. It does mean a lot. So this can be for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or if you're dealing with a water sign, we are going to look at your crush, okay? The person you've had your eye on, the one you want to get into bed, the one that's, you know, making you feel all those beautiful giddy feelings. We're going to have a look and see what is going on with your crush and what their next move is going to be. Um, so like I said, it's aimed for the water signs, but it can be for the cross watchers dealing with water signs as well. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot. Let's kick off the reading and see your crush's overall energy or thoughts and feelings right now towards you. Okay, so it would appear the Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, This your crush is at a bit of a standstill right now. I feel like there is another option around this person that has presented this, themselves um, to them. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles is telling me this person is taking it slow and not making things too obvious in terms of how interested they are in you. The reason is because we've got the Three of Swords, so I feel like your crush may have recently come out of a relationship. Maybe they still have someone they talk to. There is a bit of competition here. Okay, so water signs, if you're out there eyeing this person off and they haven't made a move as yet, um, chances are overall energy is telling us this person is maybe dealing with a recent ex or recent breakup, or they are confused because they have feelings for someone else still. Okay, and the Knight of Pentacles, we see the horse, but the horse isn't moving. Okay, so there's not that much movement happening here. I feel like this person isn't too impulsive and they're not being too impulsive with you. So they're not out there asking you out or saying, you know, let's jump into something. Let's do this. Let's do X, Y, and Z. They're being more reserved. The, the Knight of Pentacles to me is so much more of a reserved figure. So they're keeping their cards close to them ch to their chest. Chances are it's because they have another person. All right. Probably comparing you to this other person. Um, you know, they're interested in you one day. Next day, their ex contacts them and they're sort of talking to them. Um, next day, you know, you're picking their interest so you're probably getting a bit of mixed signals from this person and chances are it's because their heart may be elsewhere or they're still dealing with some sort of heartbreak i do want to say for some be careful that this isn't someone trying to use you as a rebound if they've recently ended something and they're using you as a distraction you'll know because you'll get those mixed messages one minute they're contacting you they're adding you they're initiating conversation um next few days or a week they disappear so you'll see that um that uncertainty with the three of swords i want to say underneath it i do feel like they are a consistent person because they do have that knight of pentacles um because it, it, it contrasts knight of pentacles to the three of swords knight of pentacles is a figure of consistency but then we have the three of swords inconsistency and deceit so be careful you're not being played here water signs if you're seeing too much mixed signals and something feels off listen to your intuition you are water signs for a reason you guys are very empathetic very intuitive very clued on let your emotions guide you as to where you feel you stand with this person because chances are those intuitive feelings are correct um, let's see what their next move is going to be though what are they going to do for you here uh, water signs. What's your crush's next move? Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Again, more inconsistency. Um, I feel like with the Queen, though, there is an offer. I feel like they might offer to take you out, invite you out, buy you something, give you something, show up somewhere. I feel like there is some sort of extended invitation that's coming in. Um, but the Nine of Swords tells me they're going to be super nervous about it or they're still going to be thinking about something that ended in their life. I get a sense, especially I'm picking up someone who, especially with these two cards, has had some sort of recent breakup, okay? Or they're, they're involved with someone else and that's recently ended. So it's like they might extend that invitation and you guys might go out or you might have a video call or a phone call but you'll feel like this person is distracted and the reason why is because they're thinking about something that ended in their life with that nine of swords energy nine is a number of endings you know things finishing so i mean it could even be you water signs uh, this you know i want to focus you on the next i want to focus on you in the next 
two cards. So before I do that and see how you react and what's going on with you, I feel like there is some sort of ending. They may not be completely honest with you about um, It could also be that they're very nervous or they've been lonely for a long time. They've been single. They've been out of the dating game. They don't know how to date anymore. So it's, it's, it could be like they're not sure. But I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, you're going to get something in the physical from them. A letter, an item, flowers, a gift, something that they'll hand to you physically somehow. Um, it could also happen in the nighttime. So some of you, you know, this is a late night booty call. But some of you, this person is going to show up. Are they using you? Again, it's hard to say because I feel like they're potentially using you as a distraction for whatever's going on behind closed doors. Okay, something you're not really clued up on about water signs. Um, it is, I mean, it does show endings. So it could be that this person is done with the third parties, done with having options and possibly wanting you. Um, let's see how you'll react. What's going on with you? What, how you will reciprocate or respond to this? What are signs? Okay. What's going on here, water signs? You're responding with the eight of swords. You are either not seeing this person's mixed messages. There's something you're not seeing or you're choosing a blind eye to. For some of you, I feel with the Ace of Wands, you are very attracted to this person and you wouldn't hesitate to take the relationship to the physical level straight away. You feel like this is a new opportunity and you feel like something can come from this, this crush, like a relationship. You'll have to take action. Action is going to have to be required from you though. So I see you making the effort for this person. Um, but I feel like with the Eight of Swords, you're, you're nervous or you're hesitating about it or you're going in blindly. Um... Okay, maybe you feel like you're doing it for a distraction as well. Maybe a part of you feels like they've been placed in your path for a reason, but the Eight of Swords is telling me... It's telling me you're restricting yourself in this relationship somehow. Like you're saying to yourself, oh, this crush is just a rebound, or... Uh, I'm still not over my ex, so this is just a distraction. You're possibly doing the same thing to them that they're doing to you. Okay, so that could be reciprocated. Eight and nine of swords, very similar cards, and they follow each other. Uh, and I feel like to go in blindly, you're like, you're choosing not to see their red flags, or you're choosing not to see something about it because you feel it's going to benefit you. And the ones is about lust. So for some of you, it's like, it's just an attraction. You don't want anything more. It's a distraction. It's fun. It's activities. I get to go out and be distracted from something else that you may be dealing with more internally because you're restricting it. So somehow you're restricting this relationship. You might have even said to them, I'm not ready for anything. I just came out of a relationship or, you know, um, I'm not looking for a relationship right now or I'm not ready for anything like that. So you, I feel like I see you shutting them down somehow or I feel like you're restricting things to move forward somehow and again eight of swords is talking about some internal pain here water signs so you know you gotta you gotta get down to the bottom of what's really going on here why you're hurting and who's causing that hurt i feel like your crush has nothing to do with the pain that you're dealing with it could be something internal again you might not even see it could be subconscious because we've got the blindfold i will leave it at that though i feel like you do have an opportunity here with the ace of wands more than likely it's going to be more physical and then potentially come into something more. Um, but we'll see with time, won't we? So um, thanks for tuning in, Water Signs. It really does mean a lot. Much love and until next time. Bye for now.